This on the pandemic, the city says that it is not ruling out a return to mask and vaccine mandates with COVID cases and hospitalizations ticking up again across the five boroughs. All right, Linda Schmidt here now with a closer look at where the numbers stand and how they could rise more in the coming weeks. Linda. That's right there, Stephen Laurie. Well, late this afternoon, I spoke with the city health commissioner and he says right now the city's seven day rolling average is 3000 positive cases per day. However, that number is triple the number from just a month ago. Preparation, not panic. We are prepared as a city and we're not going to panic. Mayor Adams saying he is concerned about the rising COVID numbers in the city and the forecast for the coming weeks, but says the city is not in a crisis situation. The CDC projecting about 5,000 deaths could occur over the next two weeks, with New York and New Jersey among the states expected to see the highest numbers. Earlier this week, the city raised its COVID alert level from low to medium as the more contagious Omicron subvariant BA2 continues to spread. The mayor and the city's health commissioner talking daily about the steadily rising numbers. What I'm most concerned about is that we are seeing rising cases not only here in New York and in this region, but all across the country we're seeing rising cases. And as we've seen, when, when you've got significant numbers of people who are unvaccinated or significant numbers of people who haven't gotten their booster, that puts you at more risk. Health Commissioner Dr. Ashwin Vasan saying the city would seriously consider bringing back mask mandates and vaccine checks once again if hospitalizations continue to increase. We need to see our hospitalization rate jump above 10 per 100,000. Currently, it is seven per 100,000. Today, Mayor Adams said he is not ready yet to reinstate a mask mandate for public schools K through 12. As for vaccine mandates for schools in the fall, the mandate, I'm going to sit down with the medical team. We're going to spend the next couple of weeks and look at that and make a determination. We need to make the decision over the coming months so that parents are prepared, so that they can schedule their annual. Um, you know, exams with their pediatricians. And Dr. Vossen also says the city is currently transitioning from a pandemic phase to an endemic phase of the virus. In other words, a seasonal virus. But he says the city must have a prolonged time period of low COVID transmission before health officials can truly say that the pandemic is actually over. Lori, back over to you. All right, Linda, thank you.